Yeah, you good. It was fine at first, but I should bring It's hard to breathe. What's going on YouTube, which boy at the aftermath. Hey, today's discussion is about what is the best workout split for natural lifters. And I'm gonna give you my personal experience because um, that's honestly, you know, all I could legit give you, you know, despite scientific proof or anything, I'm gonna give you my experience. Um, starting out, I've been training since in junior high and to be quite honest I've been consistently training the same way since I've trained in junior high I did have a time where I changed up my training my training in um, New York when I moved to New York to do like physique shows and stuff but the most guaranteed results training method that I've done for myself is the upper lower conditioning split you have an upper body day, push pull. You have a lower body day, um, hamstring, glutes dominant. And then you have another push pull day and a lower body day that'll focus on your quads, you know, front squats. So you're going back and forth from back squats, front squats, uh, you know, heavy bench, or it could be a heavy bench and deadlift day. Or, you know, you just focus on more volume on the chest and more strength on the back. I feel like this is the best method, especially for recovery. Um, and then on Wednesdays would be like the dynamic movements, um, um, you know, dynamic stretching, um, fun, functional movements, conditioning, abs, uh, secondary muscles, hitting, you know, maybe some shoulders and arms as well. Uh, I never really focused on shoulders and arms too much. Um, I kind of saved that for the weekends for a majority of my life of training. You know, Saturdays would kind of be like my arm and shoulders day. Sundays would be my athletic conditioning leg days again um, and then once again back to the push pull legs conditioning push pull legs conditioning push pull legs conditioning and once again this has been something that I've been doing um, personally since junior high I mean I started lifting in junior high and you know, I, I will never forget that time I cut I couldn't squat 315. I almost hit 315 in the squat rack um, in my junior high weight room and I got so pissed off that I couldn't do it, you know. Um so I've developed so much since then. I've always loved the weight room, you know, despite what sport I was playing. I think I, I've always loved the weight room more out of anything. If I did, didn't want to play football or basketball or any sports anymore, you know. I would always stick to weight training because that's what I like the most. I'm in control of my results. Um, you know, nobody's really kind of telling me what to do or how to do it. Well, there's how to do it or learning how to do things properly, but it's just you. It's just you against you. You don't have to prove yourself against somebody else. It's just trying to better yourself, and that's what I like about, um, you know, the life that I have now. Because I know a lot of you ask about, like, what's up with football and stuff. You're like, like I'm done with that. I'm, I'm cool with what I got going on now. But that's another story. So back to the push pull. Um, it's something I would really recommend if you guys are doing the whole bodybuilding style, chest day, leg day, arm day. Like, like I, I fluttered with it so so for a couple years, and to be honest, that method really made my body super tight like really tight and I was I was training like that before I was before I started training back again for the Jets um, and like the NFL stuff like when I was training with the Jets when I was training with the Colts um, and I had the pro day and stuff for the Raiders the Giants all that and I was having so many issues with my tightness so I backed up from that after the training after the football stuff and getting prepared for three months, I stopped all that whole bodybuilding, like, split shit just because I wasn't trying to be a bodybuilder. I never was. 
it was just kind of the thing going on on social media. And I don't think enough people talk about, look at this, 200 pounds right there. That's a 200 pound dumbbell, 200 pounds. I'm gonna shut up real quick. Mm. Let's go, get this shit. Don't touch me, nigga. Don't touch. Ah, this nigga touched me, bro. God damn it. I, I was fine. I was fine. Why this nigga touch me, bro? Why? What you laughing for? I'm not laughing. My laughing is fake right there. Nah, he cool, but still, I don't know why the fuck he came by and, and, and tried to help me. As you see, I touched my chest, man. My shit's still tight right there. And I'm talking about tightness from bodybuilding. That's because, and last week, I was doing like some bodybuilding kind of split just to see if I could change it up, you know, just for the hell of it, but nah, I'm back to my push pull training. Um, I've gotten the strongest this way. I've I've feel felt the most athletic training this way, and it lets me know like on day three, like yo, it's time to do conditioning. It's time to do some type of running. Time to do functional movement. Time to take care of those joints, uh, knee mobility, shoulder mobility, and it's work best for me and I think it works best for natural athletes and hell even if you're on gear I'm pretty sure I feel like it works best for that too it's not like overdrive you know what I'm saying like I feel like a lot of people I know a lot of people on 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 gear and the amount of training they say they do is just absurd sometimes like I, I've had my times where I just train like you know two times a day for sales not nah, five days a week but each training session had their purpose. You know what I'm saying? I would have like a strength session and then like a volume session. I wouldn't go like all out for both sessions for three hours. There's no way I'm gonna be in the gym for three hours. Ain't nobody trying to be in no fucking gym for three hours. Like hour and a half to two hours max is how long I'm in the gym. Um, I love the gym, but I ain't trying to spend all day there. You know what I'm saying? Like I get my business done and I keep the momentum going, I keep the intensity going, and I get the fuck out, simple as that. Um, my only issue about my progress with my body and where I could be is my eating habits. Um, my eating habits aren't timely. There will be times where I'm eating enough or eating right, and then there's 60% mm, of the time, um, actually I'll say 50, 50% 50 of the time I'm just like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm not eating enough. Um, I barely want to eat one day. And it just kind of kills my energy, mood. It depends. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out for myself. It's, I've been trying to figure it out for years. But especially with all these new like allergy issues that I'm having, I'm, I'm experimenting with a lot of foods and seeing what really affects me, kills my energy. Um, do like too many carbs or sugars, whatever. Hit me with that. Um, what is it? Fuck. Whatever. We'll talk about that in another video anyways. But, yeah, and still, this is the route you need to go, people. Um, no bullshit. You know, find a good plan. Um, I don't have a plan right now, but if you can find somebody that's knowledgeable about training, um, you know, try out their plan or make one out yourself. Um, I am working on one for the future, but not right now. But I suggest that you give this a shot. Um, see how you feel. See how you feel with your metabolism. See if you like eat more, um, or you know your growth, fat burning, whatever it is. Just give it a shot. Try this for three months, and let me know what your results are. I would really like to know what all of you um, went through in this process, um, because a lot of us are going through these bodybuilding style routines yeah you'll have good workouts yeah you'll get a pump but what is your overall progress you know in this type of training you know are you seeing the results you really want to are you getting tight in a lot of areas are you um having pinches a lot are you getting fatigued um a lot and these are the questions you have to ask yourself because you know, as you know, there's a lot of training styles out there that just don't connect with you. And what I'm saying right now is I feel like the push-pull, lower body conditioning, push-pull, it's, it's more of a universal training method for athletes all around. Now, I'm, I'm speaking from the past. I'm not speaking from now. You might be in the NFL doing the same thing, and we know, like, pro players take gear, blah, blah, blah. 
all this shit, but they still train the same way. Like I said, you could make progress with or without point blank. And it's fun, you know? Sometimes when I used to train just chest only, I like, okay, I'll get a pump, but I'm like, yo, what else can I do? You know, I gotta wait till tomorrow to hit back, and I just get like bored. And I'll start losing momentum in my workout because of like, all right, I did, I did a compound, I did some dumbbells, do some flies. All right, what else? Some, you know, overhead shit, stretch the chest, blah, blah, blah. No, I like thinking of athletic training with a sense of power and the body starts to stylize with that set of training. I don't have to think about, all right, I need to work on my chest more, like, or grow this area more. Like, no, like, I go in there, get after it, and the results show, you know? Nothing else. I don't have to worry about getting ready for a fucking bodybuilder show. Cause I don't give a, I don't give a shit about that. Like people talk to me about bodybuilders. Like, oh, did you see? You know, he needs to work. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck about what this nigga look like, what competition he getting ready for, who the fuck he is. I don't care. I want to see niggas do shit, bro. I don't care about pageants. I don't care. I like to see people get after it. People don't like CrossFit. I like watching CrossFit because them motherfuckers, no matter what. They get after that shit, bro. I like watching powerlifting shows. You know what I'm saying? I like seeing people, you know, PR progress and, you know, the the joy in their face when they go through it, the pain you have to go through for stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying that bodybuilders and shit don't go through pain, but shit's just boring to me, yo. It's hella boring. Like, when I used to compete, that shit was so whack. Everybody's so, like, full of themselves and blah, blah, blah. I need to work on my abs more, bring this out. Like, bro. I don't care. I tell you, on my last bodybuilding show, man, I said, man, fuck this shit. Right after prejudging, ate me a burger, some fries, and had some motherfucking orange juice. And I said, fuck finals. Went out on the finals. I didn't give a shit. I was out on the stage full of burgers and oranges and fries and shit. Not giving a fuck. But I was happy as shit. I was probably the happiest motherfucker there. Because everybody else was suffering eating rice cakes and shit. And I ain't want that. So, that being said, you do you. I feel like this is the best way to train. I'm powerful as fuck. You could be powerful as fuck too. You can have fun with your training. And you know what? I'm going to shut up now because shit's about to get real. Y'all about to see some shit. That's the reason why I ain't going to be squatting for a minute. All right? With that being said, make sure you hit that like button, follow, and I'm out. Jackie Chan now, look at you. Uh, this shit hurt, I'm done, I'm out. I'm out. Get some crackers. Hold on bro, hold on, I can't breathe. Yeah, you good. I was fine at first, but I just hurt on the ground. It's hard to breathe. Oh my God. I feel so bad, like I can't even walk away right now. It's your fault. Don't listen to black people. Man. I'm already hard on myself in life. Oh, pimp down! <laughs> pimp down! <laughs> Alright, I'm good though. Uh, fuck, bro. I just gotta fucking get this shit situated, man. So, I need to learn how to get out of situations. Still, uh, still having issues like being confident, like in my move sets. Like, like I know, like I play these guys. You know, I know the moves. I know what moves they can do. I see the combos, and honestly, nobody's really doing like combos. You know, anything like intimidating, but yet. Just because I feel like I'm in a tournament, I think that, you know, everybody's, you know, I'm, you know, like I don't belong here, you know, pretty much. And I just have to be more, I need to be more confident in my skill and just like not, not rush it, not make stupid decisions, you know what I'm saying? Play like I do when I'm chilling at home, you know, a lot more relaxed, a lot more like, like, yo, I'm about to win this next round, like, a little bit more confident, so. Hopefully I go into uh, the next round. Cause I had I had that. I mean I won the first match, simple and easy. 
And then, you know, just because you switched up with Sub-Zero, you know, Sub-Zero has a lot better moveset than Baraka, but I just like, I don't know. I just got to stop choking over myself. So I think I, think I, I have to, I'm so mad I missed last week. I should have been here last week because I feel like the more I come here, you know, the more people, the more I respect myself being in this environment and like, like, all right, like, yo, you belong here. You're good at this game. Even when I played last time, like, yo, I mean, me and, me and the guy, he was good. He, we went all the way to the fifth round, you know? So, you know, that alone was like, all right, if he's here, then, you know, then I can be here as well, so. But let's not fuck up anymore. How can you be someone's your grand? DJ? Where we at? Uh, right over here. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick to one game, man, cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at the level to where I can just come in and play multiple games and focus and you know, like muscle memory on the same buttons. Like my boy, a perfect legend. I played with him, and he was just telling me like he don't have the muscle memory yet to 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 support you know for playing multiple games, you know. And I think that's just that's really it. And I start getting. I don't know. It's hella discouraging because I get my ass whipped by him, even though he's been a hell. He's thirty some years old. He's been pro fighting game player for hell before I even got stepped foot in the you know the the industry with tournaments and shit. So before I even knew about tournaments and shit. So it's just I mean, fuck, bro. You gotta start somewhere. You know, even Sonic Fox went to tournaments and was getting his ass kicked before he got really good. And I mean, he you know. I think I'm good with learning. It's just a learning process that I got to go through. Be here more often. Be around other good people. I can't think that, you know, there's good players online, but when you play people in person, it's just a different thing. Like I said, it's just a different atmosphere. And like, I have to get used to, like, just, just I just got to go all out from the start. And then not trying to be a fucking worry about, like, oh, let me read them or blah, 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 this, that. And we're just going to keep taking L's until we're not taking L's no more. Because that's all we can do. Was it her hair or her wig? It was her hair. She had short hair. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not right. Uh, how did that happen? Hey, y'all. I'm going to shave my head. I'm so serious. Bald? I'll do that right now. Alright, you always give up. Find out when I'm done. Close out for now. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.